People near Mission Bay will notice something different about the water tomorrow. It'll be red. The city of San Diego is planning to release a bunch of red dye into the water as part of a larger environmental project. News Ace Monica Peters explains the process and how it may impact you if you're planning to visit the bay. If you see red water in Mission Bay over the weekend, don't panic. It's okay. And no, you don't need to call the authorities. City officials say the red dye they're using is harmless and people can still use the water as they usually do. Folks are um, encouraged to come out and take a look at the red water. It'll be kind of exciting. We don't get to do this type of experiment every day. To collect data for future water quality improvements and restoration projects, the city of San Diego will release a non-toxic red dye into the water. A team of scientists will then monitor how the water moves throughout Mission Bay. And as many of us know, some of the water coming from storm drains isn't of the highest quality. Uh, and so by studying the circulation patterns in the bay, we can study projects that might help flush the bay uh, with natural tidal influences and wave actions. The flow of the red dye will be recorded using visual and drone surveys. The dye will be released into the bay from the Mike Gotch Memorial Pedestrian Bridge at the Rose Creek Inlet between Camp Land on the Bay and De Anza Cove. Balo says they don't know exactly how long the water will remain red, but finding out is all a part of the study. But the dye that's being used is safe. It's safe for drinking water, and it is anticipated to disappear very quickly uh, throughout the weekend. The study is a part of the Northeast Mission Bay Wetland Restoration Supplement Environmental Project. Balo also emphasized that the red dye won't leave any residue in the water or have any long-term effects. It won't leave any stains on any of the environment or on any um, on your skin or, or boats or anything. Balo says they hope to complete the Mission Bay project and have a full report within two years.